Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I look really crazy right now. My hair is wet and it's hot. It's like clipped in weird ways, but this is usually how I air dry my hair. I'm also dressed in my robe because I, like I said, I just stepped out of the shower and I was doing a review for the uh, Wonder Brow product. So my eyebrows are already done and I wanted to do a very quickly my makeup because I'm going out to run some errands and usually I don't wear makeup if I'm running quick errands but today I just feel like it so this is my no makeup makeup look and if you want to know how I do it just keep on watching so I usually apply uh, some of my moisturizer I have a very light consistency one it's Laneige and I also have uh, eye cream that I usually use, but because this is really light in consistency, I'm not worried about putting it under my eyes. It doesn't concern or worry me that it will create any kind of bumps on my eyes because I know this is a very light consistency uh, moisturizer. I am going to be applying a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Uh, I've been using it for about two or three months, no, about two months now, and I think it's amazing. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit uh, Concealer. It's amazing, it is in the shade Medium. It's the number 25. I've been using this for years, and I find that I always go back to this. I love my Shape Tape, but I just can't go wrong with this one. So I bring it down, I do a triangle shape, very light once again, like I said, this is, I'm gonna be running a few quick errands, so I don't want to have heavy makeup on. I'm not using a uh, sponge for this, I'm using my finger, I'm bringing it back to the good old days. <laughs> And you know what? I find that going in with your finger, it still gives an amazing coverage and I love the way it looks. Sometimes I do set it with translucent powder. Again, I use my ring finger because this is a very delicate area, the skin around your eyes. So make sure that you are gently dabbing away the concealer. I also wanted to say that I did wash my face and I use toner as well so if there's anything in the pores it takes out all that gunk before I apply the moisturizer. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of liquid liner. Um, I've been applying liquid liner for a few years now so it's very quick for me. Something like this is good enough for me. Also, if you're wondering what eyeliner I'm using, this is called Bravo Lady <laughs> Eyeliner and it is not American, it's not Canadian. My cousin bought it for me from Saudi Arabia. They have amazing eyeliner. Okay, next I go in with my mascara. As you all know, I am a diehard fan of Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I've been using it, I think, in pretty much every video. And you might be wondering, why am I not putting on any eyeliner? Uh, you know, today I feel like I got enough rest, I my dark circles are not looking that crazy, so I typically would put a little bit, if I wanted to, a little bit of nude eyeliner um, on my waterline, but it's fine. I think today it's okay. So usually I also tight line my eyes, but today I really don't feel like it. I've been having some issues with my left eye, so I don't want to put any kind of products inside my eye. Um, but usually that is what I would do. So if you want to do that extra step, go for it. Then I add a little bit of blush. I'm loving this one that I got from Sephora for my birthday, uh, the Tarte Party. So I'm just gonna apply some of this blush to my cheekbones and the apples of my cheek. If you want to go over that extra step and apply some highlighter, if you want to apply some bronzer, by all means, do your thing, go for it. Uh, but today is just not one of those days for me. <laughs> I'm going to apply this cool nude uh, lipstick by Essence. It's like a mauve kind of shade. And then I got this shade as well as part of the Sephora gift. Uh, it is by Tarte and 
shade is called Birthday Suit. It's a nude shade, and I'm just gonna apply it in the center of my lips. So I know I probably should have done this sooner, but I brought the camera on a different uh, angle just so I can get some good lighting. Like I said, you can always add a few more steps. You can add bronzer, uh, you can add some highlighter to give you a nice glow. But I mean, for me, like I said, I'm running a few quick errands and uh, I just want to look a little bit put together, but at the same time, I have days where even if I'm running some errands and I want to look put together, I still don't care. It's all about confidence and at the end of the day, that's what really matters. So you know, if you can rock that bare face, go for it. Do it. Be confident. That's it for my no makeup makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and share with your loved ones. Thanks for watching. Bye!